Oompa Boomba. <laughs> Neil Armstrong. Emma has been waiting all day for this moment. She loves going to the park. When she arrives, the swings are taken, and the merry-go-round spins with little girls and boys. Emma's gaze stays fixed on the slide. There's something strange about that slide, thinks Emma. You can't see where the slide ends. Emma doesn't like not knowing what is going to happen if she climbs it, but there she goes. She climbs the stairs, takes a deep breath, slides, and suddenly, everything around her is transformed. For a few moments, everything is darkness until Emma falls. She isn't in the park anymore. It's amazing. The magic slide has taken her to the past. Oh, but what is this place? Am I dreaming? Emma wonders. Her body feels very light. The place is small, and you can see a very dark sky through the windows. When she turns, the girl is startled to see a man floating. She rubs her eyes, closes them, opens them, but the man is still there. Now looking at her with a confused smile. Hello, sir. Are, are we floating? What's happening? The man laughs. <laughs> My name is Neil Armstrong. I'm an astronaut, and yes, we're floating in the Apollo 11 spacecraft, and we're going to the moon. Seriously? Are we in a simulator? We're in an amusement park, right? Are you an actor? But how are they making us float like this? What is the trick? The man laughs. <laughs> there isn't any trick, kid. We're really on a mission in a space rocket. Emma is so surprised that she wants to speak, but the words don't come out. When Neil Armstrong was little, his dad took him to watch air races. At five years old, he flew for the first time, alongside his dad in an airplane called the Tin Goose. After a while, as soon as he finished school, he got his license to become an airplane pilot. Emma is very excited to be part of such an important moment in the history of the whole world. She has already asked him a thousand questions that Neil Armstrong answered very clearly. Are you hungry, Emma? I can think of a way of eating that can be very fun. Neil Armstrong looks for a package of cereal, and when he opens it, little colored rings go flying everywhere. Laughing, the girl and the astronaut try to catch them with their mouths. Neil Armstrong looks out the window and tells the girl to come closer. Look, Emma, we're getting closer to the moon. And you're not scared of walking on the moon? Emma asks him. Neil Armstrong moves closer to the girl and smiles. Yes, Emma, the truth is that I am a bit scared. Everything unknown can make us a bit scared at first, but I really want to see the moon. I waited so long for this adventure. Emma keeps thinking. She looks at the man. She can't believe that she's talking to an astronaut who will walk on the moon in minutes. Emma touches her head and removes the heart-shaped clip that holds her hair. She pauses to look at it for a moment. And finally, an idea occurs to her. If you feel nervous when you're walking on the moon, touch the heart and everything will be fine, Mr. Armstrong. Thank you very much, Emma. Now it's important for you to fasten your seatbelt because we're about to reach the moon. Oh, I think that I'd prefer to watch this part later on my tablet, Emma tells him with a mixture of emotion and hesitation. A tablet? I don't know what that is, Emma, but I understand that you want to go home. Then the astronaut gives Emma her magic hair clip to calm her. Emma caresses the heart-shaped hair clip and magically returns to the park. The sky is a bit dark, but something bright illuminates her slide. Emma looks at the moon. Neil Armstrong was born in the United States in 1930. On July 20th, 1969, he participated in the Apollo 11 astronaut mission and was the first person to walk on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, he said as he stepped onto the moon, a phrase that went down in history and will always be remembered. Curious and brave people, clever and passionate people, 
There are people who changed the history of the world, and Neil Armstrong was one of them. Hi, everyone. We hope you got inspired by this brave story. I had so much fun. I love meeting new friends and learning from them. That's awesome, Emma. To all listeners, see you next week for fun new adventures. Don't forget to rate this podcast with five stars if you enjoyed it. That way, more and more friends will find and hear our stories. Until next time, 